Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a uh, film review and the film in question is uh, at the cinema now. It's called Captain America the Winter Soldier. Now, Captain America the Winter Soldier is uh, the sequel to Captain America. And of course it's all to do with Marvel and the Avengers and all that. And it's got Chris Evans returning as the main role as Captain America. You've got Scarlett Johansson who obviously reprises her role as uh, Black Widow. You've got a new character, newish should I say, uh, Sebastian Stan who plays Bucky Barnes. Who is also obviously I'm sure you know by now the Winter Soldier himself. Samuel L. Jackson who is of course the man known as Nick Fury. He's back. You've got a newcomer as well. Um, He's called Anthony Mackey. He plays Sam Wilson, also known as Falcon. You've got Frank Grillo. I'm sure that's how you say his name. Uh, he plays one of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s bodyguards, sort of uh, security men. You've got a brief cameo from uh, Hayley Atwell, who uh, was from the first film, who plays Peggy Carter. Robert Redford, he's a bit of a significant character in this film. He plays Alexander Pierce. It's, uh, like I mentioned, it's the sequel to the first Captain America film. It's a relatively new film. There's an alright cast. The story, um, I don't think I could tell you too much about it, simply because it might just give away the whole film. But Steve Rogers is back. He's back working for S.H.I.E.L.D. after everything that happened in New York, uh, which is apparently two years after. So two years after everything that happened in New York, um, The Winter Soldier is set. And the start of the story of the film starts out with Captain America, Scarlett Hansen, Frank Grillo and uh, a few other members of S.H.I.E.L.D. tracking down a uh, stolen ship. A stolen ship um, that is being run by George St. Pierre, also known as George Batroc. And uh, George Batroc is a Algerian pirate. And I've never seen GSP, George St. Pierre, the UFC uh, Ultimate Fighting God kicking ass person. Uh, never seen him in a film before, however, in this film he was alright, even for the brief uh, moment that he was in it. And from the very start, Captain America is quick witted, he's got some banter going on, he's, he's a bit funny with his comments. Without a shadow of doubt, he does kick ass from the very start of the film. Like I've said about the main storyline, apart from the start, which is a bit of a uh, you do your mission, Captain, and uh, Black Widow will do her mission. Without all that going on, the main story is a bit confusing almost. There are twists and turns pretty much after the pirate ship, um, even on the pirate ship really. Black Widow's got her mission and she steals some information on a USB flash drive. And uh, from the very start, really, um, the pirate ship is almost a cover for the main story. I mean that bit I could get my head around um, but then as the story progressed not really wanting to give it away it does get a bit confusing there are twists and turns I mean there was really some things that I didn't see coming which was a bit of a surprise but there is one main twist uh, that I really didn't see coming I didn't expect it um, it has kind of left it all in the air, like what's going to happen next. Um, at the end of the film you see characters go off and doing their own thing, which is good, uh, but then it kind of leads, you know, what's going to happen in, especially in the Avengers, which is meant to be the next film that's coming out from Marvel. Um, how's it going to leave it for Iron Man? How's it going to leave it for the next Captain America? But uh, throughout the film there's action, there's car chases, there's gun fights, uh, there's hand-to-hand -hand combat, so there's fighting going on. There's some comedy moments, there's some quick wittiness, there's some banter going on between each of the characters. Um, I've mentioned there's twists and turns. The main storyline, uh, I really don't want to give it away. Um, that's a bit unexpected. It is um, entertaining. Really, I mean, I love the film. I couldn't wait to see it. I watched it in 3D last night. Uh, the people I went with, they really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, without giving away the main storyline, I mean, it's it's a great action film. Maybe one of the best films of Don Marvel. I mean, Iron Man, uh, number three, that was pretty cool. Number two was good. Number one, Stand Out Alone. Um, maybe it's up there as the best Marvel film that's been done. I mean, uh, Avengers, as a collective member, 
of all of them. That was awesome. Uh, on his own, Captain America, this is probably the best Marvel film they've done. Very enjoyable, action-packed, gunfighting, car chases, action all the way through. Um, Scarlett Hansen, if you like her, uh, then she does her own thing and uh, she kicks ass all the way through. But I'm really a fan of Captain America, I think he's, uh, he's, a, he's an awesome character. I don't know what it is, maybe it's because the guy on his own is an ass kicker. And then he's got a shield which he can use as an extra weapon, he can throw it, he can defend himself with it, which is pretty cool. The Winter Soldier himself, um, that was, it was good to see. Uh, there was a lot of build up, a lot of hype about it. Uh, so to finally see Captain America and the Winter Soldier on the same screen, uh, fighting one another, which is good. The story between them two itself, that's a bit of a twist and turn going on. So you have to be on your toes with them two. But really guys, it's a bit of a shortish review. Like I said, I don't want to give away the main storyline, but it is a major twist. Uh, and it also hinges on what's going to happen in the next few Marvel films. So yeah, the, the main storyline, that's quite interesting. It's going to be interesting what they're going to do next with the films as to where they lead off from Captain America the Winter Soldier but if you like Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, Samuel L. Jackson, Sebastian Stan, Anthony Mackie, Hayley Atwell, Robert Redford, even Kobe Smulders from How I Met Your Mother uh, she's in it she uh, she has a bit more of a role in this film she kicks ass as well. It's a bit of a long film uh, it was on for nearly three hours so a uh, bit of a long-winded film. It was awesome to watch in 3D, I must admit. There was one point when there was a, an RPG going uh, from behind Captain America to uh, towards the screen, and I kind of had to move and duck for that, so that was, uh, it was good to see in 3D. Kind of freaked me out a bit, but it was good. Action-packed all the way through, comedy, gunfights, car chases, hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, it's all round entertainment of a Marvel film. If you like Captain America, the first one, definitely go and check this out. Anything that Marvel films have done, if you've liked them in the past, definitely go out and watch Captain America The Winter Soldier. But yeah, that was my quick-ish review of uh, Captain America The Winter Soldier without giving away the main storyline. If you like it, thanks for watching. Definitely go out and check out uh, Captain America The Winter Soldier. Awesome film. Also, guys, don't forget, we the devoted. Go check them out. All the links down below. Use Toby WTD gets you 20% off any We The Devoted gear. Links down below as per usual. But thank you for watching my review of Captain America The Winter Soldier.